would sever some things away. He would cut some things off. He would cancel some things out. He would disconnect you. He would disassociate you. You got to make up in your mind. If I got to walk by myself, then let me walk. So, so one of the things I want you to understand, I want you to hear me well. Abraham was always under divine observation yeah. of the mercy seat. Yeah. In other words, God was always watching him. God was always taking a, an observation of the things that he would do, the things uh, that he would not do. Uh, because anytime the stamp of approval of heaven now uh, is getting ready to come into your sphere of influence, you've got to understand uh, that God now would begin to speculate, uh, that God would begin to visitate now the situation and the circumstance. Uh, in other words, you're not going to get it easy. Uh, you're not going to get it overnight. Uh, he's going to try you. Uh, he's going to prove you. Uh, he's going to test you. Uh, He's going to search some things down on the inside of you. So the Bible lets us know that the first test comes. Now I want you to hear me and hear me well. Abraham now is to be commended. He's an outstanding young man. Because the Bible lets us know that he's connected to a tribe called the Chaldeans. The Chaldeans now you got to realize. They're a hedonistic set of people. They don't believe in God. They don't celebrate God. They don't worship him in beauty and holiness. They don't bow before him in spirit and in truth. But yet Abraham, he decided to follow the call. I'm wondering my brothers and my sisters, how many of you in here tonight is willing to follow the call? I'm wondering my brothers and my sisters, how many of you is willing to neglect, is willing to reject, is willing to abandon friends, family, folks, and kin members of great God that are connected to you? How many of you is willing to give it all up and press toward the higher call of God in Christ Jesus? Jesus, how many of you is willing to press? How many of you is willing to push? How many of you is willing to say, Lord, and here I am to worship, and here I am to bow down, and here I am, Lord, you can use anything, you can use anyone, then God begin to use me. How many of you is willing to stand after having done all, put the stand? How many of you is willing to go to the very fiery dash of the enemy being directed at you. How many of you is willing to go against the green of what everybody else is doing? And what